on the, do you remember way back in the beginning I was talking about this visual auditory and kinesthetic? And the one you all took your phones, took pictures of whether people said yes, say I see, or sounds a good idea, and so on. Now, I will share with you now how to use this to your advantage. Okay, the slide I didn't put up, so I add on this really cool thing. It's called rapport, as I mentioned to you previously, rapport. Rapport basically means a person trusts you, like you, willing to listen to you. That is rapport. We all know what that is. We all want rapport from our people around us, and uh, we always try to get better rapport with people. Now, have you, in the beginning, I gave some examples where somebody said, oh, uh, he's a nice guy. I just don't know why I just feel he's a nice guy. He sounds like something I can trust. We all have this experience before. The reason lies in two things. One is their body, which I'll talk about later. The second thing is the vocabulary of a person. Now, imagine I said to, okay, people like people who are like each other. Agree? Correct? If, if you are very similar, if I'm very similar to Hassan, Hassan is likely to click, click with me. Click, right? This word click. Have you all heard this word click? Wow. You want to click? Yeah, click. Oh, you, click. you click by being similar or like. Now, do you think it's very effective if I went up... What's her name, man? Christine. I went to Christine and said, Christine, click with me. <laughs> okay? <laughs> Define what does click mean. <laughs> He's learning, man. He's learning. So, <coughs> That's not going to work, right? So we just speak to the <coughs> How do you do that? Now imagine I'm a com imagine I was talking to Christine and Christine said, Wow, this seems this looks like a good talk. Vernon sounds very credible. I feel that this will be very worth my time. Now if Christine said that, can you remember what I said? Remember, right? This looks like a good talk. Vernon sounds like a good credible yeah, speaker. And no, and 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 I feel that it's even right. What happened is I use Visual, auditory, and kinesthetic language in one sentence. Okay? The people that you speak to, the people that you try to influence, they will also speak in patterns. It don't have to be B-A-K to K-B, B-A-K, K-K-K, doesn't matter. But the reading for you all three No, no. It depends on the conversation you have with the person. You will notice when people say, hmm, have you seen them together? Versus, oh, I've heard they're together. Same meaning, different representation system. So when you speak to a person and you notice he uses, for example, looks, uh, looks like a good talk, sounds credible, feels good, then you can reply. Yeah, I think I, I think I see what I think I see where you're coming from. Sounds like a plan, huh? Okay, I feel the same way as you too. You responded in the same. Representation as the person. Now, what do you think the person's subconscious is thinking about feeling at the moment? He speaks my lingo. But he doesn't know, he doesn't realize it. He doesn't realize it. Because your subconscious is speaking to his subconscious. But you know, because you're NLP trained. So when you do this, you can actually disagree with a person, but still click with the person. Okay? Now, I give you the bad example, okay? Boyfriend, girlfriend, watch a movie, came on a movie. <coughs> Christine, how do you feel about the movie? Christine, ah, Christ the movie is terrible. I feel it's a complete waste of my time. Then I said, oh, yeah, I think I've seen that. Uh, I don't want to see it again. Now, I agree with Christine, but I didn't speak to her subconscious. So after the whole date, Let's say we are on a date, the whole day, I can't disagree with her representation. 